Hey guys, this is Brenda. I just wanted to show you a couple of things that I do when I'm not playing video games. So today I'm going to be repainting my rims. I'm going to make something that looks pretty ugly on my car right now to something that looks a lot better once I get done uh, repainting it and um, show you how to do that. I like to try to work on my own car instead of paying someone else. And it's something easy and expensive that you can do at home and saves money. Pretty much what you're trying to do is you just grind out the you know areas of that's like shiny and make it dull. So make sure you get everything really good so that way that when you go and paint it, it sticks. Right, Jerry? Anything else? That's my brother Jerry. How's it going guys? <laughs> Gals. <laughs> So roughly this takes about 10 to 15 minutes a wheel depending on how much this is very exact. <laughs> so if you're looking to spend about 10 to 15 minutes per each wheel, um, you could probably do it in five if you really get jacked up on some energy drinks and stuff and try to get a good workout out of it. But you want to make sure you do a thorough job, make sure you get in all of the crevices. She has a lot of spokes. It's the seven spoke wheel design. Um, it splits off into a two spoke, so you have 14 spokes all together. If you had a five star round, it'd be a lot quicker. You could probably easily do that in about five minutes. But these were looking about 10 15. Bailey, grab a piece of sandpaper. Come on, Bailey. We got another rim you could do. Bailey? He's like, no, I don't think so. Oh, he's the perfect cat. Yeah. I do like to use the three finger technique. The shocker? <laughs> Not the shocker. Oh, okay. Not the I know. You can cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> And on my car, I still have your, you can't tell with these particular rims, but um, I do have the original four lugs on mine. And I have a Nissan 240, in case if you guys don't know. Hey guys, so the next step after you um, sand down a lot of the, the shiny shininess off of the rims, um, we'll use a, like a degreaser and kind of clean what we use. Um, just any good old degreaser will work. Uh, I have purple power, so I'm going to use that. Oh, no, I was just showing you what it looks like before and after you use the sandpaper. <laughs> that is a well used piece of sandpa sandpaper. This did about half the rim. We so. conserve, so we try not to waste any. <laughs> hey guys, the next step um, after you do that, what I've done is I've gotten some of the blue painter's tape and I went around the edges. As you can see, I'll show you. So after I cleaned it up, use a Q-tip to get in between the little nuts and everything and I cut a little piece of the tape off and then I'm just going to put it in between the rim and the tire. There's a little bit of a gap in there and then so I'm just trying to get as close as I can to kind of keep the paint off the tire and I do this going all the way around the circle and then once I'm done I use a little bit of the cardboard that I came off of the grit paper and then I'm just going to go around and just kind of like really separate the two all the way around. Make sure that it's on there nice and tight. All right, and then once I'm done with that, um, I use like old newspaper or coupons or whatever, and you just get a piece of paper, you cut it down the middle, 
and then you just pretty much do it in like an V shape. Since the tire is round, that way it's a little easier when you have to go and put tape over the part that you've already put the blue paint on, and then just tape this down. He is going. Maybe he went to go get a car part for me. And so I'll put tape around here, and I just do this all the way around. So there's actually going to be like a whole ring of newspaper taped to the tire all the way around. It's going to look pretty fascinating. I'll uh, show you what it looks like once I'm done. Okay? So then we do one more cleanup, and we use something a little less powerful than the degreaser just to kind of clean them up good and then we'll be ready to start the painting. Yeah, I'm videotaping you shaking the can. Oh, <laughs> cut that, edit it. So, for your first coat, you're kind of just dusting it on there. Not really trying to make it all black. Just kind of dust it on there. Try not to run the paint. Take your time while you're painting. You should probably have a mask or something, but. Alright, that looks like a good dusting coat to you. Because once you run it, that's it. No, that's pretty good. You have to sand it down and start over. No, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to wait till it dries a little bit and do another dust coat. Alright, first coat done. Here we're going for round two. Second coat. It's a Rust-Oleum paint that actually covers very easily. All we need to do really two coats before we shoot some clear. Okay guys, so now it's drying. I will show you what they look like tomorrow once all the paint and the clear coat is done. So I'll see you later. Bye.